as you see and probably hear, we're outside since it is what people in northern Sweden would say uh, be winter spring I guess it's a fifth season for people up here they've invented it since uh, it's too depressing to call this uh, spring or uh, perhaps pre-summer since you see it's snow everywhere but it's still uh, warm enough to be out so yeah and you get to see uh, I guess that's my neighbors out on the ice this is the Baltic Sea and it's still ice up here so uh, you get all the good stuff but what I'm intending to do here is actually to go over uh, the mobile setup of my guitar and MIDI guitar and Camelot I've started setting that up a while ago so you see I have my iPad here and I'm just going to set it to screen record so you can see everything as well there you go uh, the thing I have is of course a wireless connection it's the X Vive stuff and it's the iRig 2 going into the uh, 3.5 inch audio connect connector here and I have for the breath controller part which I always use you know that I have the USB camera connector connector here to the lightning connection on the iPad so The, the little thing I want to check out now is how easy is this to set up in like a hostile environment like outside in the spring in the winter spring of, of uh, Norrland in Sweden so bear with me here I'm starting out with using this uh, video host uh, you've seen me use it before and I'm connecting this to the camera connector here so I'll get a little blue light saying that at least it gets some power I always use uh, this speaker as well so I get some reference sound to what I'm doing that's the sound of it starting up I'll have the receiver on and perhaps I'll even turn on the transmitter so Now I have the transmitter on, the receiver on, and for you that haven't seen it before, I have this sort of Bluetooth uh, connection, so I have a wireless setup also for my breath controller, which makes everything so much easier for me to, to use that. So the thing I'm interested in today is to see if Camelot works as well as I'm hoping it does. Let's place you there so you can see at least the relative independence of me and my setup and whatever I'm doing. Now I have this connected, I know that. This is picking up on the Bluetooth uh, transmission from the breath controller I have a battery pack here and that's a power button as well and that's one of those things you tend to forget so now I have the power on here here and here I have this speaker turned on as well and 
the connection should be established to the U host. So it works exactly as I would have hoped. Let's see what happens if you sort of close down that and uh, opens, say, some drum beat behind this. This is independent of, uh, I'm running it sort of outside of Camelot now. Reverb, so I'm gonna lessen the reverb just for interesting to know that the reverb on the whole Camelot setup is for all the instruments so actually I'm working in two layers now with the MIDI guitar on a song level uh, setup or a, I guess it's a song level because you have a scene level and you have a song level on the song level the instrument put in there is there for the remainder of the song or for all scenes in that song and that's the way I'm working with it right now to get these seamless crossings between the instruments because if you put MIDI guitar in on each scene you get sort of a kind of an abrupt start and stop and a, a little gap between the notes sent so I found this to be a much more reliable setup and it also works for as intended for the note off message and that's kind of important you saw that i changed it in the middle of holding that note but it didn't change the instrument until i released the note and started anew so if you sort of try to play a backing track from say YouTube on this one two three but it seems to work <laughs> Thank you. 
let's see if this was recorded all the way. I have some doubts in that, but anyway, makes for a great test anyway. <laughs> 